I am Matt Hosel, Chief Medical Officer at Inizio Evoke. It's exciting that we have so many representatives of Inizio here at ASCO in 2025. Inizio, of course, being our the largest commercialization platform that can partner with pharmaceutical companies and clients at any stage in their life cycle, from really early molecule development and um, investigation to you know, late stage products. And we can partner at any stage, whatever the client need and pharmaceutical need is. And we're really excited. We have such a ASCO powerhouse that we have such a representation now here at ASCO 2025. As I'm chief medical officer at Inizio Evoke, our role in Inizio Evoke is then to partner on the marketing and communications side of the business. And I had a medical strategy where we we're kind of tasked with driving brand differentiation for our clients, uh, for our products to really bring a level of strategic depth and intellectual curiosity and creativity to medical strategy. So at ASCO 2025, now we're at the third day and oh my gosh, uh, the amount of data that had been presented and we're all taking furious notes and some of the data that were presented yesterday, a lot of us wanted to give standing ovations because it's actually now impacting patients in the ways that we really hadn't seen before. So it's incredibly exciting that actually we can see some of these new data sets. But what's in also encouraging for us is the continued desire to integrate technology into everyday cancer care, whether it's using AI for early cancer detection and the various tools to biomarker discovery and uh, taking down some of the barriers to actually implementing some of this care. It seems very actionable this year. So it's not just the data at the podiums, but it's actually the data in real lives of patients. That's pretty encouraging. Winizio, we are the world's largest commercialization platform that can partner with pharmaceutical companies, clients, large and small, across any stage of the life cycle of a molecule, from really early stage clinical development and discovery to late stage life cycle management opportunities. And whatever is kind of needed across the stakeholder management, whether it's from KOLs, HCPs, patients, payers, everyone can be a part of this engagement to really ensure that we're driving and maximizing the value of the brand. And ultimately, though, at the end of the day, it's about maximizing patient outcomes. And we think about this very much from a, uh, a, a global health perspective, right? Because that's ultimately who we're doing this work for. So we partner with a spectrum of organizations from very small startup companies to the largest pharma companies in the world. And across that spectrum, Many have an oncology focus, and in fact, some of the smaller to mid-sized pharma companies are actually some of the most innovative in the oncology space. We can see that for sure, certainly in ASCO this year. But wherever they are across the stage in their life cycle, small and large, um, we actually have quite an opportunity to partner with them here at ASCO. You can see some of the larger booths that at Inizio we have participated in the construction, the design, the content, um, the engagement, whatever uh, across the board to some of the smaller tabletops, which are every bit as important. At Inizio, there are multiple areas of focus. We can think about it therapeutically. Oncology is a large focus for us. And that makes sense, right? Because of just the market size and opportunity. But when we think about some of the more innovative ways to actually partner with our clients and our pharmaceutical companies, we think about ways that we can really kind of harmonize the approach from Inizio to partner with companies to provide, again, whatever service is kind of needed across the entire platform. So there's an integration model. So one of the big areas that we're going is to understand how do we best integrate at Inizio, but also integrate then and partner with our, with our clients. Part of that integration is also finding opportunities to innovate across the platform to provide the most innovative AI tools, uh, innovations in hyper-personalization, whatever it kind of looks like what is needed to drive that brand forward, those are some of the areas of massive investment at Inizio across the board. As scientific leaders, we have to be sensitive to the objective reality of the data that exists. But we also be sensitive to the client needs. And in most cases, there actually isn't a tension between these because we are working with clients who also see the objective reality of what the data are saying, what the unmet need is, and what the, what the molecule and brand actually can do. So there's often not really a, a big tension between scientific leadership and the client needs. In fact, there's quite, there's a lot more harmony than perhaps some people uh, might think from a distance. How we actually partnered with our clients in order to ensure, um, to bring creative solutions to any sort of problems they might have. One of we just had a conversation late last night, actually, around clinical trial recruitment because there are, it was an unmet need that it's an ex objectively exciting product, 
And for a variety of reasons, there were barriers of finding the right patients to include in this innovative clinical trial. So it's actually uncovering the reasons behind this limitation and the uh, kind of the bottleneck where patients are not getting to the uh, sites to get the, uh, the therapy that is actually could benefit them and uncovering it was just an educational need and inclusion exclusion criteria it was just something quite simple but then that that allowed us to have a lot of creative solutions and we're kind of discussing that right now of how to best educate how to best ensure that there's a referral pathway where not just the treaters but also the community doctors and the patients feel confident that this is the right therapy for them if they so choose there's certainly a temptation when you come into the pharmaceutical world is to think about the molecule by itself and as a scientist certainly it's a temptation for me to think about the data and it's sometimes you kind of forget that every single point on that kaplan meyer curve every single point on a, on a on a graph that represents a patient that represents a patient's life their lived experience they have a family and ultimately at the end of the day that's who we're doing this for so Everything that we do has to be filtered through that lens of making sure we see the patient in their life and their lived experience and how this can impact them. We cannot dissociate ourselves from that reality that we came into this work, came into this job, came into this marketplace wanting to make a difference. And ultimately, we want to make a difference in the lives of patients. And that's why we get up every morning. That's why we kind of are able to partner with each other in such collaborative ways because we can't lose sight of ultimately making a positive impact in the lives of patients and their families. So ultimately, when we think about how to partner with some of our companies and some of our pharmaceutical companies, small biotechs have very different integration models, have very different unmet needs, have very different budgets and pipelines than some of our lar larger companies. And you kind of sit there and say, well, okay, well, is there a one-size-fits-all approach that can actually address the needs of the various clients? Absolutely not. So we ensure that at the platform level, at the Inizio platform level, we ensure adaptability and an insight to actually what the clients are needing at that moment. And we can evolve that model then over time as a company grows or uh, meets new challenges into the future. So the innovation tools, I mean, it's just it, everything. The, the the big word right now is AI, and there are proprietary tools in-house. There are partnerships that we are developing as well. Um, but it's one of the big themes, of course, and what we heard even yesterday at ASCO was a AI will not replace humans, but humans with AI will replace humans without AI. So we have to have an integration model of using AI, the various tools that are both developed in-house as well as partnerships across the uh, the entire field. So one of the big challenges that we see over the next three to five years in oncology is as we have evolved the definition of value of brand, the value of brand often had been thought of in very clinical ways. And we should be thinking about it in very clinical ways, efficacy and safety balance, right? But now as we kind of think about how it's evolving over time, the integration of patient reported outcomes, the integration of how patients experience the therapy and they can live their lives with this th sort of therapy, the definition of value is really changing. And with increased payer pressures on this entire model, this integration of communicating to various stakeholders with a unified message and approach is going to become more and more important. It's the patients. The patients really are, at the end of the day, when we think about the lived experience and their lives, it's, uh, it's, it's incredibly motivating for us to, um, to do our jobs with a, with a passion that the patients deserve. Make a couple of jokes and say, there's no balance to that, right? Because we do live in a world where, yeah, there are increased pressures. But when you have a, uh, a, a support system and a culture within a company that honors it, that actually encourages a work-life balance, it makes it that much more easy on the individual level. So when we actually have accountability to one another, when we have a culture where we are treating each other in ways where, at Izio Evoke, our ethos is health more human. It's not just health more human, something that is framing our external communications with how we treat one another with accountability with respect and that actually ensures a work-life balance from the top down if i were to recommend any books or movies in the ecology community the integration of the immune system much more uh, and what the immune system is doing in oncology is absolutely critical so an elegant defense is one book that i would totally recommend it's an excellent book about the immune system and it gives us good understanding of how it can actually connect to the oncology world. And if I were to uh, give some other recommendations, 
I mean, my gosh, my textbooks from college, sure. But if I were to say a movie, probably The Godfather, just because it relaxes you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Anka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.